We can be, do, and have anything. The moment that we give our powerful energy to something that we're excited to create, we start to draw it to us like a magnet. So if we see it in our mind, we can hold it in our hand as long as we can decide to focus on it in that green zone energy. Remember, every moment that we spend in the green zone, we are attracting things to us. Every moment that we spend out of the green zone, we're keeping things away from us and attracting things that we don't want. As soon as we really become aware of this, we realize that there's nothing off limits to us in this world. As long as we choose to be in that green zone energy, we can have it all. So what is it that you really want? All of us have lived the amount of life that we've lived up until now. And at this point, right now, we're more clear about the things that we want to be, do, and have than we've ever been in our life before. Why? Because of all of those life experiences. Because of all those experiences that we had of both things that we want and things that we don't want that have shown us a clearer picture as of today than we've ever had before. Tomorrow, you'll be more clear to, than today because of today's experiences and so on and so forth for next week, next month, next year. As long as you're living here on this earth, your picture will become more and more clear of the things that you want to be, do, and have because of those life experiences. So really, when we become aware of that, we can bless every life experience, whether it be wanted or unwanted in the moment, because without that experience, we wouldn't be as clear. We wouldn't have that clarity, which might be one of my favorite words in the English language. We wouldn't have that clarity as far as what we want to be, do, and have like we do right now without those experiences, both wanted and unwanted. This is one of the many things that I love about us as human beings, that we all have such unique personal preferences. And this is in all areas of life, health, relationships, finances, etc. And those personal preferences being unique to us, the key for all of us is the same. It's really those of us that choose to focus on that clear picture of what it is that we know that we now desire and allow the momentum to increase the energy to flow towards whatever it is that we want to be, do, and have. Those of us that do that will be magnetic in attracting those things to us. Those of us that focus on the also clear picture of the things that we're very clear now that we don't want will also be attracting those things to them magnetically because it doesn't matter what clear picture you're focusing on, whether it be something that you want or something that you don't want. Regardless of which clear picture that we choose, we're going to become magnet to that and begin attracting it as momentum picks up and picks up. Appreciate the experiences, both wanted and unwanted. Realize that they're giving us clarity and focus on that newfound clarity in the direction that you want it to go and allow the momentum to pick up and attract everything that we want to be, do, and have this is law. How do these things that we desire come to us? We've already discussed how momentum works. Now it's time to discuss how synchronicities come into play. If we think of everything amazing that has ever happened to our life, did we know all the details beforehand leading up to that manifestation? Did we know the how, the when, the where, the who? Of course not. In fact, there was very little of these details that we could have ever figured out. And this goes for everything amazing that we've ever happened to our life. So if we couldn't figure out any of those details for all those amazing things that happened, why would we even try to figure out the details of all the things that are happening now? Synchronicity by definition is the simultaneous occurrence of events that appear related but have no discernible connection. I'll read that again. Synchronicities by definition are the simultaneous occurrence of events that appear related but have no discernible connection. So what does this mean? These are all of those things, the random coincidences that we see in life, the people, places, circumstances that we never could predict because you went there, because they went there at this time instead of that time that you met this person and did that thing. Those things, those are all the synchronicities that are always happening in our life. And when we're in the green zone, these synchronicities are happening in ways that surprise and delight us and always in perfect timing. And we get more and more of those things coming in as momentum starts to build. So the key is to be in that green zone, allow the journey to unfold, not try to figure out the how, what, when, where, and who, and know that since we've never been able to figure that out up until now, why start now? And every time that we try to figure out those details, it just makes us anxious and anxiety is definitely down in the red zone and, and when it comes to the green zone chart. And so if we wanna be in the green, just allow ourselves to be like a, a blissful little kid, wondering what's next, letting things surprise and delight us and happening in perfect timing, knowing that all those life details are going to work themselves out synchronistically and it's always going to be in ways that move us forward in our journey if we allow it to be. This is life.